Ladies and gentlemen, can we have your attention, please? Shh. I know everyone's excited to eat. It's that time of the day, and we will do that momentarily. We'd like to welcome you, first of all, to the 12th Lending Hearts Foundation Gala. 12 years it's been. My name is Bob Pompiani. I've been honored to be here after all these years. I've been honored to be a friend of Vaso, her family, and the mission that they have here in mind. It's hard to believe it was 12 years ago that she, because of personal family issues, wanted to create a nonprofit to help people who are dealing with cancer. And here we are 12 years later with a tremendous uh, banquet every year and all the work that's being done through the years to help so many people. And Vaso, as you know, has done a wonderful job. If you've been here, you know it, you see all the examples of people who have benefited and people who have been helped. But now there is really good news here tonight because I just want to share with you an honor that she is going to be given this coming May. All of you, I'm sure, know Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour has what's called the Open Hearts Award. She has it every year at her estate in Malibu, California. And this year, Vaso and Lending Hearts are going to get the grand prize and the grand award, which is the Open Hearts Award. Now, to put that in perspective, previous winners of this award include Glenn Campbell, Robin Roberts, Halle Berry, Christy Yamaguchi, and many others. And so, Jane Seymour had a chance to meet Vaso, saw the work she did, and was inspired to make that move this year. So we congratulate you, Vaso. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your executive director, Vaso Polores. Come on down. Good evening and welcome. I am just so thrilled to be here this evening with all of you. And before I go any further, I want to recognize the incredible efforts of our honorary gala chairman, Dr. Stanley Marks, our gala chairwoman, Mary Jo Capazzoli, and our gala committee members, Donna DeMauro, Danielle Krusik, Carly Tasloff, and Alexis Xenakis Betcher. Without them, this evening would not be possible. I am thankful to them and their tireless efforts, and I also want to thank our tremendous MC, Mr. Bob Pompiani, and his lovely wife, Lisa. This dynamic duo continues to be a beautiful source of support to us. And welcome and thank you to our honoree, Mr. Cameron Hayward, and his family for being with us tonight. And to our sponsors, we are extremely grateful for your support. Thank you for being here this evening. The love of a parent has to be, the love a parent has for a child is like none other. I believe it is the most selfless love and is truly the foundation to life. As a mom to three, I live it every day. And if you ask them, they may say a little too much. I often say each of them has a clear piece of me. My oldest, Nina, is my soul. My youngest, Irini, who is here this evening, she is my mind. And my middle child, Stephen, sorry, I don't mean to show any biasness, but he is my heart, so. I can't live without any of them. And then there is Lending Hearts, my fourth baby. Most know the start of this organization came because of the journey we experienced when my sister was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's disease when she was 17 years old. Many do not know the other part of the story included my son, for whom I was 18 weeks pregnant with at the time. The day of her diagnosis also included my husband and I being told that our unborn child would be born completely deformed and it would be best to terminate. As our second gala honoree, Mr. Merrill Hodge, so eloquently always says, find a way. When we are struck with adversity, we find a way. When a parent is faced with extremely difficult situations, you find a way. It is no longer about yourself, but the extension of you, your heart, your soul, and your mind. Fast forward, and we were extremely blessed with Dr. Marks 
and his tremendous team for saving my sister. And my son will be graduating with highest honors from high school in just a few months. Thank you. This evening, we are honored to have the Zambori family with us. They will share their son Leo's journey. And the Zambori family also had to find a way. And I'm thankful to them for being part of our Lending Hearts family. We are here this evening to honor our friend Cam Hayward. Cam personifies what it means to lend his heart. He finds a way to raise awareness and support for those living with cancer and finds a way to support and provide for children in need. Thank you, Cam, for lending your heart to so many and making a difference in our city. As we honor Cam, however, I must pause for a moment to recognize his amazing mother, Charlotte. Unfortunately, on the way here today, she texted me and said she was under the weather and unable to join us, so uh, I greatly missed the opportunity to meet with her. But just like everyone else, the Hayward family had to find a way when Charlotte's late husband, Craig, was diagnosed with cancer. With her great love for her children, she persevered and instilled in them the love and grace to use their family's journey to make the lives of others better. Charlotte works tirelessly with Cam to make sure the Cam Hayward Foundation continues to be fruitful and grow. And we are thankful to Charlotte for all of her efforts, and we applaud her as she is an inspiration. Cam, I do have a lovely bouquet of flowers for your mom I'd like you to take to her this evening. Every day we are all faced with different challenges and obstacles. Lending Hearts is now moving into its 12th year, and it's thanks to all of you. Every day we strive to find a way to reach patients and families in need, in need of a community that has an understanding of their experiences and that selfless love and need to provide for your child. A community that can gather in person for unique experiences that provide social and emotional support and that same community that can come together from near and far for integrative oncology wellness care that addresses stress, anxiety, movement, pain, and so much more. Many do not know that young adult in oncology is referred to those up to the age of 39. With thanks to Highmark Health, we were provided the opportunity to elevate our integrative program to the young adult population. COVID quickly stepped in and made it all an all virtual program that now allows us to reach patients nationwide. Now in 2023, we are proud to share our in-person services will be expanding to the Erie area. We recently learned 75 families residing in Erie come to UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh for oncology services. This does not include the young adult population who are treated at UPMC Hammett and Allegheny Health Network St. Vincent's Hospital. In June, we will begin offering our in-person family experiences as an extension of our offerings here in Pittsburgh. What better way to do it than by taking in a baseball game with the Erie Sea Wolves? We are looking forward to the opportunity to work with organizations such as Erie Insurance, Gannon University, and LECOM as we expand our Erie, Erie footprint. Speaking of baseball, we are grateful for our tremendous relationship with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Last fall, we had the awesome experience of having a baseball clinic with our wonderful gala honoree from last year, Mr. Neil Walker. And this summer, The Pirates are offering us an opportunity to have a truly one-of-a-kind baseball clinic on the field of PNC Park with current players and staff to be with our youth. These are just examples of how we continue to find a way, find a way to serve others, lend our hearts to them, and one day reach our vision to bring hope and strength to everyone impacted by cancer. I'm grateful to all of you for being with us this evening and joining us in celebration of CAM, the Zamboris, and all of our Lending Hearts families. Thank you very much to all of our sponsors, donors, and families. A very special thank you to our board chairwoman, Carrie Corby LaRocca, and executive committee of Stephanie Dutton, Michael Gregory, and Alexis Zanakis Betcher. I must also pause for a moment and give a very special recognition to Alexa. She's probably out in the hallway right now. But less than a month ago, she had her first child, and she is so focused on being here, that she had to be here this evening. 
And I must add that she named her baby Cameron, so I'm still not sure if it's coincidental or not. And a very special thank you to Mr. Justin Fabus, who you will hear more from later this evening. And thank you to our many wonderful volunteers. Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoy your evening.